We're very fortunate today to have with us a Springfield 03. And that's the model of 1903. It was the U.S. Army Infantry Rifle, caliber 30-06, that went to war with America in World War I. Stick around. Big gun go boom. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we'd like to thank you all for joining us, our subscribers and our viewers, for helping us keep traction and keep the wheels turning on this show. Today, uh, we've got with us the Springfield Model 1903, commonly known as the 03 or the 03, because that's when it was adopted. This year, rifle's well over 100 years old, but it's still working just fine. Anyway, it gets its start because it uh, replaced what was known as the 3040 Craig Jorgensen carbine that got famous with Teddy Roosevelt charging up San Juan Hill. And the Craig Jorgensen had some problems. And as a result of the problems, they took a look at what the Spanish were actually using in the way of the Mausers. And the Mauser was determined to be a much better rifle with a much better action. So after much study and much design, the model 1903 was developed on the Mauser action. Now, what's funny is Mauser actually sued the United States and collected $250,000 because we basically hijacked the German design. Well, good for us, and they got paid too, so it's a win-win. Um, this fires a 30 6 and it has a five-round magazine where you put in the, uh, the rounds one at a time. Now, what makes this particular rifle really different and stand out from the crowd is this is what's known as the Mark I design. And the Mark I design came out later in the war, and you can tell it's a Mark I by this little opening right here. And this little opening was designed so it could be set up with what was known as the Peterson device. And the Peterson device was a unit that had 40 30 caliber pistol bullets that could be installed into the breech of this and turn it into an early semi-automatic rifle or pistol using pistol, pistol caliber um, ammunition. So the Peterson device allowed this to become a semi-auto, which was way ahead of its time. So it's a fantastic rifle. It's definitely a beast to shoot. It still has that metal butt plate, and I'm sure tomorrow I'll be looking at the waffle print on my shoulder, but hey, bragging rights. Chicks dig scars, right? So anyway, it's a great rifle. We're going to get right to it. Stick around because we're heading for the bench. Get this thing prepped and put some rounds down range. All right, this is what you've been waiting for. To load, we're going to push one round at a time down into the box magazine. Just like so. That's all there is to it. All right, now we'll push the bolt forward, close it up, put some ears on, say a little prayer. Well, that was fun. Not as punishing as the last time I remembered, but I'll let you know how I feel in the morning when I get up. Haven't fired one of these in 20 years, and I'm thinking I remember why. Anyway, like all good things, it's time to move on to Shooter Shoutout. Yeah. All right, our first shoutout of the week goes to Paul C. Paul really liked the CZ75D PCR Compact 9. He says, thank you for the video. 
I just purchased one and didn't know it had the capability of shooting 22 LR. Awesome. Gonna check that out too. Big thumbs up. Hey Paul C, we really dig the 22 conversion kit and the PCR is just a great pistol. You're gonna dig it. Also, second shout out goes to Joseph Wolf. And he really liked the sneak preview of our new mystery range. Joseph writes, you do a great job. Good old fashioned morals and awesome gun safety teacher. Keep up the good work. Joseph, thanks for that vote of confidence. We're really liking being up here at the Mystery Range, and we intend to keep up doing what we're doing for a good long time. If you're interested in learning out more about the O3, check out the description box below for some handy links that'll get you the bigger story. Anyway, on behalf of Shooter the Series, my name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll all see you next time. Take care.